Hi everyone, uh, this is Kan Nishida from Oracle BA Publisher Product Development Group. Uh, in the previous demo, I have shown um, the interactive reporting capability of the Oracle BA Publisher 11G. And uh, now, I mean, today, um, I'd like to show how to create such interactive reports. Uh, like I said in the last time, uh, there is no coding, there is no scripting or anything. It's pretty simple and easy to create uh, interactive uh, reporting uh, with BI Publisher. So that's uh, I'd like to show you this time. So let's go uh, create a report um, now. So the first thing I want to do is I need to uh, I want to choose a report data. So now I find the SFO data. So I click open. And then I can use uh, the boiler template, which helps you to start with uh, the design the report. But I'm going to go from the uh, uh, simple uh, uh, blank template, which is basically nothing. It was pretty easy. So like one fun thing of, uh, I like to do is drop in the layout grid. And I select a three by three, so three columns and three rows. And then like, I'm going to start uh, dropping the charts uh, because that's how I like to show the data. So let me drop the charts here and then maybe three charts at the top. So now, uh, first thing, first chart, I'd like to see the current uh, passenger numbers and the previous uh, period uh, passenger numbers and also by the year uh, and then maybe like I like that from the months and then now like that I want to change the chart type I um, um, layout editor <coughs> has a lot of different variations of chart options but uh, I like to use this uh, line chart instead of the bar and then I want to take the 3D effect out and then instead of like, having the legend on right hand side which limits the uh, chart Plot area, so I'm gonna change the legend position, so location to uh, make it to the top, so that I have more uh, area to display the chart data itself. So now we move on to the next uh, chart. Go back to data source. Uh, what I like to see is the number of the passengers, but categorized or the divided by uh, the region, right? So for here. And then this type of the data, I think it's uh, much better to have the pie, so that way, like I know, like gradually, uh, visually, and immediately know what what is the area to have the be uh, most passengers. So now this looks good, and move on to the next chart. And again, like I'm interested in current and also the previous, but this time maybe instead of the months, just how about just the year? And again, like I like to. Um, change that uh, legend position. So instead of um, legend to be display at the right hand side, I like to change that to the top. So now like I have more uh, data and then maybe like, I like to change that to again the uh, line chart. I take the 3D effect so now it looks a little better. Uh, now uh, I still have an area so how about like, I keep adding more charts so here, and the second chart at the bottom, and then maybe the third chart at the bottom. So the first chart, uh, what I like to do is I like to see the change uh, compared to the previous year. So here is a change, which means comparing the this year and last year uh, based on the months. So now that like, you see the negative, which means uh, compared to the previous year, uh, you have less passengers, uh, negative number of the passengers, right? Um, I don't need 3 the effect for this, maybe uh, this kind of makes it clear. Um, and the next chart, i like to see uh, how about the top 10 airline company in terms of the passengers, uh, number of the passengers. So here I want to have that airline company and the current count. And it looks and it changes the chart type to the bar, but the, instead of vertical, I like to have that in horizontal. And the top 10, because uh, there's a lot of airline companies, so I'm going to change the filter to make it to top 10. So let's so type that. So now it's only the top 10 airline companies that are showing. And then now the last chart I like to have is 
bolding area. So based on the bolding area, uh, which, uh, how many passengers? And again, like this type of chart, I like the pi uh, to graphically display uh, that data. So it looks good. And then now let's preview it. Um, before preview, let me save that um, label uh, layout for now. A quick save and then go to preview. So when I look at that preview, um, these are the chart already created. So if I'm interested in this uh, US, these are the data. If I'm interested in Asia, now like all the charts immediately are uh, reflected by. So go take the Asia out. And for example, if I'm interested in United Airlines, United Airlines has a lot of US passengers. Uh, this American Airlines uh, also pretty much only operates in the US. So take the American Airlines out. And if I click um, Asia, uh, these are the airline companies operating the, uh, uh, the airlines that goes to the Asia. So now, uh, let me add something a little more. Um, how about, um, I like to have some sort of parameters so that way like, I can just click and choose, right? So how about um, geo summary? Uh, oops, that's a mistake. Uh, use this list and have the geo summary, uh, which basically uh, I can select international or domestic. And instead of the vertical, I'm gonna select to the horizontal. So like, uh, based on the click, uh, I'm gonna make to the international or domestic, or the charts, I like to see the difference. And instead of having the border, I'm gonna take that out, uh, so that make it maybe a little simple. So here, I'm gonna take that out, and I click OK. So now the border is gone. And the next thing, uh, I like another parameter. So here, I'm just dropping down the list. And then uh, maybe the ear, so that way. And instead, again, the uh, vertical, make it horizontal here. And I notice, as you know, uh, I, I can see only three ears, but I know that there are more ears. And then maybe the region is not enough. So I'm going to select these two cells and then join selected cells. That way like, I have more space to um, display all the ears available. And again, I'm not a big fan of the border, so I'm going to disable. Oh, like I'm gonna, no, I don't want to display the border. So select none, click OK. So now, I have two parameters at the top, or the list at the top, and the six charts. And let's see it quickly uh, with the in preview window. So now I have this data, and then looks okay. All the uh, filtering is working. So, like for example, if I select the domestic, and if I take the 2006 out, if I select the US, uh, every click I do, uh, every single piece of this report uh, uh, directly. Um, linking and the filters. So it looks okay. So I'm gonna just save that uh, layout and then go back to uh, the report window. And then now I'm gonna save this report under my folder. So name it to the SFO, uh, sample report, and click save. So now I click the view report, and all the data is displayed. Correctly. So they, if it takes it out, so now um, if I select again a US, I see the boarding area in the ABCD, EFG, but the F is like 67%. Uh, if I select the Asia, now the boarding area is pretty much G and A, and G as 86%. If I take the Asia out, so now what I care, I like to see the international, so now I can see 49%. Are uh, from Asia and 23% are from Asia. And this is the branding of the passenger based on the months. So if I look at the 2010, uh, pretty much except the January, most of the months are positive. But as you, if you click the 2008, you remember the dome of um, 2008 nightmare. So I think it's most area uh, that can be negative. Uh, if I take 2009, uh, oh, actually, when you look at 2008, and then look at international, 
or look at the domestic. Either way, it's pretty uh, bad if so. So now uh, this is how you create interactive report. As you see, uh, I didn't type any code or script or anything. Uh, what I did was just drop, drag and drop, uh, select, and just change the layout or the uh, property. And then now you get this fabulous interactive reporting capability. Thank you. So this is uh, how you create the interactive reports with BI Publisher.